survived in the streets. He was left homeless and hungry by corrupt fight managers and promoters. Things finally turned upon relocating to Puerto Rico, and his career took off here in South Florida, where he is very popular, as you can hear. He's 6-0 and right here at Hard Rock Live, known for his trash talk, predicted a ninth round knockout, and said this time he'll break the other side of Abraham's jaw. He usually gets right to it, Al, but many feel he will really come out bombing. Number one, to avoid a repeat of the first fight when he thought he got robbed. And secondly, the Abraham people think he'll tire as the fight goes on. Well, to avoid that happening for the first time in his career, Miranda, who's hearing it from this crowd that loves him, has hired a professional dietitian for the whole camp. It's made him uh, in great shape, and you'll see it when he takes off that uh, top. He's got a heck of a body for this fight. Four and one with three knockouts since Abraham. The punishing loss to Kelly Pavlik, but two straight KO wins at 168. He sent David Banks through the ropes and halfway out of the ring, a candidate for knockout of the year. Well, he's looking all business right now. Edison Miranda who wants his sweet redemption. American fight fans, his United States debut, an Armenian who moved to Berlin when he was 14, wildly popular in Germany. In fact, some felt he was the beneficiary of a hometown decision over Miranda. He postponed his mandatory to renew this rivalry, really wants to make a name in the States, keeps his title, win, lose, or draw. But Al, with a victory, the possibility of a mega fight with Kelly Pavlik. Well, and if he would get that, he would face the same kind of hostility he's facing right now. They're talking about that fight would happen maybe in Cleveland in front of a big crowd. He's got to get past this hostile crowd and Edison Miranda tonight, and we'll see how he reacts to this. He really has almost never been in a crowd that didn't love him. Exactly. He comes off a stirring 12th round KO of Elvin Ayala in March. A never surrender mentality. King Arthur says he's ready to conquer America. As we check the numbers, the tail of the tape, Miranda, who is looking more cut and muscular since moving up to super middleweight, came back down to 165 yesterday. We weighed him tonight, 174 and a half. Abraham's up from middleweight, was initially a half pound over the catch weight, then hit the mark less than an hour later. Tonight he's 172, so at least they're similar. The rules uh, clouded by confusion, you'll recall, in the first fight. There's no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt causes a fight to end within four rounds it's a no decision after four rounds they go to the scorecards and if a punch causes a cut and the injured fighter can't continue he loses by TKO so here at Hard Rock Live in Hollywood Florida getting ready for Abraham versus Miranda to a non title fight that feels like a title fight the official introductions from a ring announcer the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. to the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida for boxing's much anticipated rematch featured bout of the evening brought to you by Seminole Warriors Boxing and Zauerland event in association with the Seminole Tribe of Florida, Chairman Mitchell Cypress, Cafe Bustello and Showtime. This bout is sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission Chairman Ramiro Ortiz, Vice Chairman Don Bowen, Commissioners Mel Gerardo, James Steinecke, and Dr. Donald Perry, with the Executive Director Tom Malloy. Our physicians at ringside, Dr. Alan Fields, Dr. Donald Weiss, 
And our timekeeper at the bell, Carmine Giracella. Introducing our three judges, scoring this bout from ringside, from Wolverhampton, England, John Coyle. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Harry Davis. And from Rivervale, New Jersey, Steve Weisfeld. Our third man to the ring, a referee in charge, hailing from Jacksonville, Florida, Telus Asimenios. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening, a rematch special attraction scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida, it's showtime! Fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks, fighting out of Carolina, Puerto Rico, by way of Barranquilla, Colombia. He weighed in at 165 pounds with a record of 30 wins, two losses. He has 26 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the number six super middleweight in the world by the IBF, number two in the world by the WBC. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Oi. the hard-hitting and explosive Edison Pantera Miranda. And his opponent across the ring on my left fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks, and joining us from Berlin, Germany. He weighed in at 166 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 26 wins, no losses, 21 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight making his live U.S. television debut, please welcome the longtime and undefeated IBF middleweight champion of the world, introducing King Arthur Abraham. Once again, our referee in charge, Telus Asimenios, now to give instructions. Gentlemen, you have received instructions in the dressing rooms. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Good luck. God bless to both of you. Anything below here is a low blow. Your belt is looking good. Shake hands. God bless. Oh. Miranda refusing to look at Abraham, and here is the result of our text message poll question. Maltese. No surprise, Al, 70% said yeah. I think they know Ready? that this is gonna be a great fight. And, uh, they, nice to there. and they want it. This fight hasn't even started yet. Yeah. And the people want to see it again. Miranda typically comes out winging. Power. Abraham wants to start faster, but Abraham's folks convinced Miranda will sputter after four, so somewhat contradictory there. I, I think Abraham just wants to strike first this time and not get caught early as in the first fight. I think a key point about all this is if we look back this passionately at that first fight, Abraham himself was able to stun Miranda a little bit early in the fight, but then once his jaw was broken after the four rounds, of course, was a little bit less effective. So we shouldn't believe that Abraham isn't capable of hurting Miranda. He is. No mystery. Uh, Miranda wants a street brawl. He's more effective coming forward. Doesn't fight as well going backward. Abraham's got to push Miranda back. Put on the pressure. Bully him. Miranda's money punch. The monster right. That's the punch that broke Abraham's jaw. He's sometimes wild and on this one. There's a right hand by Miranda. Abraham also has a huge right. He can drop you with either hand. You know, they tell us, Asimenios, the referee is going to be a very key figure in this. 
Let me tell you one of the reasons. You look at the, how Abraham keeps his hands. That's to prevent you from keep hitting his head, and you have to go to the body. Some of those body blows, of course, were called low by Randy Newman in the last fight. Edison Miranda doesn't think they're going to be tonight if they're not low, in his opinion. We'll see. And Asimenios knows Miranda's style very well. He refereed his last fight. So he's been in there with him before. Body shots by uh, Abraham. And Abraham, yeah, you're right. He goes into that defensive shield and he suddenly explodes with a burst yep. of, of hard punches. Part of his M.O. But he does fight sporadically. Yeah, and he's very aware that coming here, he's got to punch a little bit more if he expects to win a decision. Now, their theory is Miranda's going to all of a sudden fall apart after six or seven rounds. If that doesn't happen, they need plan B. And Miranda, just like in the first fight, taking the early initiative. Yep. Boy, both just took the other's best shots in the first fight. They absorbed some massive on body shot there. And now here's a <laughs> twist. Abraham's told to keep him up. Well, that one did straight just a smidge low. It's just amazing there were no knockdowns in that first fight. And still astonished that the Miranda couldn't drop Abraham in his horrible condition. Right hand by Miranda. He's got Abraham where Abraham doesn't want to be. Deep in the corner. The jab of Miranda is making itself known a little bit, an important punch for him. You can see that these guys make a very good matchup. They really do. Half hook, half uppercut by Miranda that just grazed Abraham, fortunately for Arthur. Yeah, the jab, it, 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 he sort of abandoned it against uh, Kelly Pavlik, but we saw more of it in the first fight against Abraham. It was Come effective. On, Vivian Dude, our German translator, Felix de Jesus, our Spanish translator. He needs to go right. Because you've got to be careful for this difficult side. Take away his attention. Get him so he doesn't know what's coming. Right, let's initiate. When you initiate, he holds off a little bit. Don't let him get on. He'll die. He'll die after five or six rounds. So keep going. Hey, they feel the same way. That's everybody's mantra, isn't it? I guess. Jose Bonilla in the corner, the trainer for Miranda, a trainer slash father figure for Edison Miranda. Uli Wegnar, a famed German trainer working with Abraham. Worked with guys like Sven Otka and, and Marcus Bayer, certainly not big punchers like Arthur Abraham. No, but men that helped revive boxing in Germany and make it Great. very big, which it is now. Longtime super middleweight champions, yes. Miranda, when he uses, the, oh, there's a nice uppercut on the inside. Miranda, when he uses that jab, I'll tell you, it's a, it's a whole different fighter. And you mentioned against Kelly Pavlik. When he was using that punch more effective, kind of abandoned it. Does it? What did I say in the? What did I say in the keys? No wild left hooks by Miranda. He apparently did not read my yes. keys. He just threw a wild left hook. <laughs> Don't they pay attention to those things? We'll send him a tape after the okay. show. <laughs> a little late, but <laughs> Miranda again taking Abraham into the corner. Invites him in. He says, Come on in, you're not hurting me. Now that's Abraham's version of the rope adult, and this is what he does. This is the way he fights, and then he'll all of a sudden counter punch out of this posture. It's interesting. Miranda usually looks to intimidate, but uh, Abraham's trying to pull a reverse here on Miranda. And you know, Abraham believes. Oh, body shot by Miranda. That was a beauty. They believe Miranda's going to punch himself out in four or five rounds doing it. And that's exactly uh, why Abraham is taking this posture. And he did that in the first fight, too. That's his style. It's what he does. But he's going to accentuate it against Miranda. Yeah, they, they got word that recently Miranda hired a professional nutritionist, a dietitian. Their feeling is when that happens, there's a problem with the fighter. But we'll see. Carlos Asimeni has warned uh, Edison Miranda, I think, for using his head on the inside. Well, he, uh, he got two points deducted in the fifth round of the first fight. Oh, what a hard body shot by Miranda. Those are thunderous punches. Now, 
They're wearing different gloves in this uh, fight. The Reyes gloves being worn by Abraham and the, the Everlast gloves by uh, Miranda. Ironically, Reyes gloves are thought of as the puncher's gloves. Right. And yet it's Miranda who's this monstrous puncher who's wearing Everlast. Confidence. Could be. He's having a good round, Edison Miranda. And it, not surprising Abraham would, would give away a few of these early rounds. And Miranda's parading around the line. Here, oh, here we go down. again. Watch your punches, okay? No more. Let's go. Oh, yeah. He's being admonished by uh, Asimenios, but of course he lost three points for low blows in the first fight, two for the intentional headbutt, so five all together. Now Abraham being a little bit more aggressive. You know that Miranda will concentrate on the head now, but Abraham's so good at covering up to the head, you have to go to the body. Moran uh, Abraham, of course, had five minutes, up to five minutes to recover. He only used 40 seconds. Well, guess what? He used to a nice body shot that was legal, Miranda. And Abraham comes down. Countering body shots by uh, Abraham. Don, Don, Don! Well, just like this, just like the second round uh, in the first fight, uh, Miranda hits after the bell, but not as Well, let's swing. see whether this punch was low or not. There will be a left hand downstairs or right uppercut. Well, guess what? It was low. Arthur Abraham had every right to wince on that one. It was an uppercut. He was trying to come up to the body, and it landed very low. So Edison Miranda gets himself in hot water again, and uh, Asimenio said that? no more. Yeah. It's literal life. I'm a vice body mine, yeah? You know what I mean? You have to go over the right. You got to keep your left and protect, protect yourself, cover yourself. You're going to do it. You're strong. Keep it clean and go for it. Al, if our interpretation is correct, it appeared as if Uli Vegnar, the, the feisty trainer for Arthur Abraham, he said uh, something to the effect, just get in there and fight. Stop. <laughs> messing around and uh, let's see what happens here I think he thought that Abraham may have been faking you know I mean, he did get hit with a with a tough upper here's when Miranda gets in trouble when he tries to throw the uppercut and it's a body punch if he only threw the over the right hand to the body or the hook for the most part he's okay it's when he throws those uppercuts and he gets in trouble that's what most of the low blows were in the first fight there's those body shots by uh, Abraham that's been very successful for Abraham. Here in the early going segment. Oh, big right hand on the jaw by Abraham. That was his best punch of the night. Miranda says, let me see what else you got, Arthur. <laughs> These are too tough. Well, I can't say it on TV. Abraham claiming that was low and it was. So he's, he's looking for some more calls. Looking for some points. <laughs> I think you're right. Even though I, the first one was unquestionably low. You know, even with, if the five points weren't deducted in the first fight, Abraham would have won the fight. It's amazing. Well, according to the story, yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm saying, yeah, I don't agree with it. But. Now, Abraham's landed some nice punches in this round. Miranda's been busier, as, as mostly the case against any fighter against Abraham, because Abraham is very uh, economical with his punches, but. Arthur Abraham has landed some nice shots in this round. Yeah, Abraham's waiting for a home run. Abraham's problem is that here he is in the United States, not in his uh, no, comfort zone, both in every sense, and he's going to have to punch stop, stop, to win stop, this fight. Stop. No posting. No posting. Let's go. You got it? Let's go. Block. for pushing that. It sounded like he said no pushing. I didn't see what Miranda was doing. 
Well, he's certainly trying to take control, Asimenios, no question about that. Of course, there was heavy, oh, look out. Wow. That wobbled uh, Miranda. I think that was a right hand. It wobbled Miranda. He, his knees buckled. Even then, Abraham didn't come forward. He just does not want to do anything but counterpunch. Oh, great left hook by Abraham. Yeah, that was a good combination by uh, Abraham. The left hook uh, did the most damage. This is a big round for Abraham. A right hand there, but he couldn't get it through Abraham's guard. It's so tough to do that. That's why he has to loop around sometimes to go to the side of Abraham's head. Final seconds of round three, and it's heating up. Edison Miranda, one of about three or four big punches Abraham landed in that last round. Now, this is where Miranda is uh, warned here, and I'm not sure what that warning was for. Grabbing and holding and hitting, I guess. I, I am not sure what that warning was for. And then Abraham, at the end of the round, landed some big punches. Now, that was actually a little more just off balance action by Edison Miranda. I'm not sure how much he was hurt, but he got taken some, some big shots. Do a counter punch. Come on, let's do it. Well, if you recall in the first fight, this was a sensational round for Abraham, round four. He really uh, stepped up the attack and, and found his rhythm. We'll see what happens here in the rematch. The, uh, of course, the other problem was in round four was when he got his jaw broken right at the end of the round. The so end of the round, yes. He'd like the first part without the second yeah, part. That's true. That was a right hand. But oh, look out! Miranda is down! Three, four, five, six, seven! Hey, come on! Can you continue? Okay! It was Let's a go. left hand by Arthur Abraham, and now he's looking to close the show. You wouldn't have expected a left hook from Abraham to be the punch to knock Miranda down, but he landed a good counter one earlier in the last round. And oh, big in trouble. Big combination upstairs by Abraham. Yeah, you're looking for the right hand, and it was a left hook. That's the fourth time. Miranda's down, making number five now. He's down Three, two times here in the four, fourth, and he's got two five, minutes to go. Six, seven. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Ready? Let's go. Pavlik put him down two times in the sixth. He's down. Semenio says good night to Edison Miranda. It ends in round four. How about that for irony? It was round four where he had his jaw broken in the first fight. It's round four where he ends it with three big knockdowns in the rematch. We said Edison Miranda was a gunslinger. He will get you or you will get him. He got gotten tonight by this man who did it with an unlikely punch, counter left hooks. He's not a big left hook artist, but he landed them tonight. They were too much for Edison Miranda. And the king has come and started to build his court in America, he hopes. He uh, came to conquer and he did. And for Arthur Abraham, the rematch well worth waiting for. Took almost two years, and uh, he's done it. Much to the chagrin of a lot of this crowd, of course, Miranda. This is his home. He six, was 6-0 six and oh in this ring and in this arena. Not anymore, not undefeated now. No revenge for Edison Miranda. Celebration time for Arthur Abraham. Abraham was able to get it done with a kind of unlikely punch, the left hook. He's got one, but it's it's not his stock and trade. Well, actually, the first one, right hand started the problem in the first knockdown. Then the left hook got there. So the right started the damage, and then the left hook. But in the second one, it was the left hand that got to that one just barely missed. And this Ooh. one got there very, very strongly. Miranda had been hurt, of course, already, and Edison Miranda 
not known as the greatest defensive fighter. And so when he was in trouble, his defense failed him. Abraham, very smart, just cranking up those hooks. He knew that punch would land. Every time he threw that hook, it was getting in, and that was the end of the fight, the third and final knockdown, and the end of Miranda's hope to get revenge. A bruising assault by Arthur uh, Abraham. No revenge for Miranda. What could be a hugely important win Thank for you, Abraham. My Thank you, my father. And with talk of a unification showdown with Kelly Pavlik. Arthur Abraham does it again, two for two versus Miranda, doing it in his American debut and coming up in weight Thank against the guy who had already made the adjustment, fighting at super middleweight. Oh, what a bad night for Edison Miranda. Abraham, meanwhile, remaining undefeated, now 27 and 0 with 22 knockouts. Miranda falls to 30 and three, two of those three losses to Abraham. Let's get the official word from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 13 seconds of round number four. Our referee in charge, Telis Asimenio, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated King Arthur Abraham. An estimated three million viewers expecting to see this one tonight on German TV at four o'clock in the morning Al so a lot of folks if they stayed up late in Germany uh, are celebrating right now drinking a little coffee and they are happy to see this result a milestone victory for Arthur Abraham and one that could propel him to some major fights huge win for King Arthur Abraham and he does it on the road in his uh, American uh, debut. He was booed coming into the ring. He just smiled it off. Edison Miranda was cheered coming into the ring, but it's Arthur Abraham with 